Hello everybody and welcome back to a new vlog. Not gonna lie, I've been hungover for the most part of today and I spent the afternoon running around posting parcels, picking up parcels and wait, did I go this way? I feel like I've gone the wrong way. Hang on, yep, I've definitely gone down, I've definitely turned too prematurely. So we went to one of Chloe's friends' houses last night to watch the football, which was very fun. Obviously, the result wasn't what everyone hoped for, but it was still a good game. I never watched football, but I feel like that was like a game that you couldn't really miss. And I'm definitely glad that I was back in London for it, even though the atmosphere, like, especially today, the atmosphere is just a bit, mm, as you can see by the, the, the rain, a bit of a... Is it pathetic fallacy? Yeah, anyway, it's quite atmospheric actually. The rain is very cooling for my hungover self. So, I left my laptop charger back in Southampton, so I couldn't really do any work today, so I kind of gave myself a hangover sick day, but I do need to get back to it. Um, so my mum's posted it to me. So, I caved and ordered delivery. I couldn't help it, literally the place down the road was selling burgers for £2.50 and ever since last night I've been dreaming of a chicken burger because one of the guys at the football party was um, eating a chicken burger and I just can't get it out of my head so I'm watching Love Island, it's just been left on a massive cliffhanger I'm literally watching it on my phone so yeah I literally did like the, the biggest order and it came to £10 so I'm hoping I'll get a couple of meals out of it got some nachos as well and some chips I'm really excited, I'm so excited this is like my ideal night and I've literally done nothing except search on Facebook Marketplace for some new furniture I will show you, like you can kind of see over there the setup, but I will show you when everything's tidy tomorrow because that's my mission is to get everything sorted. But I just, I don't know, I just hung over and tired tonight. Oh my god, I can't even tell you how excited I am for this. Ah, <sighs> oh, this is what I've been dreaming of. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Literally, this couldn't be more perfect. I feel like I'm going to get it everywhere. I've never ordered from this place before. Burger and sauce. Hey, John, good. Look at this cute little setup. Marzi is uh, eyeing on my burger. Honestly, like, it is so dangerous having so many nice places just down the road. Like I said to myself, oh, fuck, now I've, now I've used it all up. One delivery a week. When I moved to London. Um, so I guess this is it for the week and then I'm gonna have to be good. Good morning everybody. Um, so this morning I'm just off for my final consultation for my skin with um, my dermatologist Dr Zakai at Linear Skin Clinic. I'm literally loving being able to get to places so fast at the moment. Like literally it took me about 40 minutes to get into um to get me to harley street so i will take you along with me oh i think i just walked past it i've still got like 15 minutes before my appointment so let's just do a little wander around the streets um yeah so it's like the final checkup of my skin and i love that i'm actually able to come to the clinic so i will take you into the appointment with me um, and we'll see what he has to say, but hopefully he says it's all good because my skin is doing pretty good. So guys, I'm here with Dr. Zakai. We just had a really interesting chat actually about mental health um, whilst you're on Rakuten. That's, you yes, that's right. So we were just having a consultation, Maddie, thank you for coming in. We're just discussing the association between Rakuten and depression or mental health. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just uh, mentioning that like it is unpredictable. Um, we don't know when we put somebody on Rakuten if they are going to develop any form of depression yeah. or our um, mental health or so. Mm. It's always good to ask, and we always ask them if there is a history. Yeah. But even that's not predictive, you know, so whether they are going to develop anything. Mm. Hence why we do monitor every month, and we yeah. have been doing so with you. Yeah. And uh, if anything should to happen, that should happen. We we'll reduce those. We we'll stop. We we'll intervene mm -hmm. with the treatment or so, and, uh, and we have to monitor very carefully, which is yeah. what. Um, 
glad that we've been doing with you. Yeah. And luckily, and luckily it's all been fine. Yeah, nothing has happened, and yeah. that just shows that if somebody has mental health problems or has concerns, so yeah. it doesn't always happen. Exactly. You know, um, so it is unpredictable. It's, I mean, it, if it does happen, I've seen it in a very small number of people. Mm. I've treated thousands, you know, so hundreds and thousands of patients yeah. with Rakuten or Isotretinoin, and I've only probably had maybe one or two small cases, okay. which we've intervened, obviously helped or even stopped the treatment yeah. um, if concerned. Yeah. But the key was that we discussed, I think, monitoring by your doctor really is important. Yeah. Good to know there are options because I was obviously very concerned about like the whole mental health side of things yeah. but luckily it's been good. So that's been really yeah. good. So I'm really happy um, with the outcome so far. Mm -hmm. So we were discussing so you finished your 50 milligrams, you finished your course on 50 milligrams yeah. um, around you know, some four or five weeks ago and um, in terms of side effects so that you were developing the dryness as things mm. begin to settle down now <laughs> it's, it's, I... it's so funny because now i'm like oh i have to wash my hair every other day <laughs> again now because before i can literally not wash it for a week because it's yeah. so dried out that's part of yeah, yeah. that's one bit that was that was that's 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 exactly. that is, you get some perks with it so i do yeah. so i do hear from patients i don't yeah. have to wash my hair as often yeah. as i did now that I've stopped and um, it's things beginning to normalise, exactly. I have to wash it more regularly again. Exactly. Correct. But yeah, no, I don't have to use lip balm like constantly twenty four seven anymore as yeah. well. So. I don't have the dry lips. Don't even have achy muscles. I feel like all the side effects have kind of normalised. Normalised, yeah. you know. Yeah. How has your acne been having been off the medication now? I literally have no acne. So and things are safe. Yeah. Oh my god, it is hot out there. So, I've actually gone to the shop and done a food shop on my way back from the clinic because I was um, not about to order delivery every day this week. Um, so I just got like, you know, bits and bobs to make some lunches and some dinners with. I can't be bothered to walk to Holland and Barrett to get my all time favorite granola. So I got this granola instead, which is gonna have to do me. Um, I need to get back to like healthy eating. So loads of veg, loads of fruit. So I'm just gonna put that away and then get on with cleaning all this up. I'm gonna go put it in the car. tidied the whole house and it's the tidiest that it's ever been so I thought I would give this opportunity to show you my bedroom and downstairs as well because there's a few changes there so let me flip the camera around this is what it's looking like at the moment with the addition of a few ornaments I'm not really sure if they're gonna stay like there but I've put my mirror there um and then this is looking kind of cluttered I kind of just put like everything pink there I kind of like it you know um just lots of vases lots of um plants etc I got my perfumes and then in here it's pretty much <laughs> it's pretty much full of hair stuff if I'm honest like this whole drawer is hair stuff which I need to sort out I know because it's ridiculous I need to be using it for um clothes um but I do have one clothes drawer here um so yeah i need to sort that out but that's how the bedroom is looking bathroom we've just added a couple of little candles bits and bobs got my new bath mat from ikea and then this is what the lounge area is looking like i've added in my little sofa bed which is really good for when my mum came to stay um i've just put various ornaments like in places that I don't really know if they're gonna stay, but yes, it's looking cute. Oh, that smells so good. We just decided. <laughs> no, you definitely did. It looks good. We just decided we need a little pick me up because we're both exhausted. We've got the metal straws from upstairs. There we go. Look at that. There's all my. This is the plant corner. The uh, botany bit. <laughs> and you got thing in there. Um, oh, did I just put my sieve in the coffee? Sorry. No, you're... Oh, this. I can't think. Um, but yeah, this is what the kitchen is looking like. Got my little fruit bowl over here. 
Um, yeah. And that is it. And now we're going to sit and drink our coffee. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I've got to show you this. The plants. I brought my plants with me. So we've got that one there. We've got two. I don't know if you can see down there. In our entrance. I don't know why my camera's not adjusting. And then this bit. This bit's really cool. Hang on. Let me just hold my water bottle. Got Chloe's cactus and my mirror, which I think like I need to get taking selfies here. So cute, like literally, absolutely makes the entrance. Oh my god, the staff are look so good. We literally had the best stir fry for dinner. Oh my god, I'm so glad I picked up some bits to cook tonight and it's so nice to be able to cook with someone and then sit down eat dinner together watch love island like oh, i was just like so happy like i absolutely love living by myself but just having someone to do that with is just the best thing ever yeah these two are sound asleep because oh yeah i don't know if i said met a borrow my doggy person this evening um and her, her and her boyfriend were so lovely so that's really really good that i'm going to be able to have someone to walk the dogs and like look after them as well if i need to go out and stuff um yeah all in all it's been a lovely day and i will see you tomorrow <laughs> everybody from the spot that I have been in for the majority of today haven't picked up my vlog camera because I've actually had a day of getting stuff done getting angry on the phone to Virgin Media who have decided to push back my installation of the Wi-Fi to September how considerate of them considering I make a living working from home I mean, it's been two weeks without Wi-Fi and I'm going crazy, so I can't imagine how I'm going to feel come September. So, safe to say I've been on the phone to them for about an hour today trying to either get them to move it forward or leave my contract because I don't think that's fair. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, I've got pretty much everything on my to-do list done. So, I'm going to close my laptop because I just don't... I don't want to look at it anymore um i'm gonna take the dogs on a quick w-a-l-k i think this one is saying to me that she wants to go for a walk also their butter nut arrived so i am going to go and put some makeup on go out w-a-l-k the dogs and then i'm gonna go out some bought some food even with a friend i'm so hungry right now i can't even think but like i need to eat before i then go out and eat good morning everybody don't know why i just said that as if i'm a school teacher um so i don't even know how i'm awake at this hour what is the time just gone eight o'clock i got back last night uh one it's after one um, from dinner and drinks in King's Cross and this morning I am up bright and early for a workout event I'm actually in my workout clothes it's with Batiste oh my god my eyes honestly I took all my makeup off last night except my mascara <laughs> today i am not cut out for this midweek drinking like it's not even i'm not even i'm over i feel fine i just feel exhausted from not having enough sleep last night um so anyway i've been trying to get a few bits and bobs done this morning spent another couple of hours on the phone to virgin media <laughs> like just 
things like this just really overwhelm me anyway i don't want to spend any longer complaining or thinking about it so i've made myself a pitta um me and chloe can you see that the beans does it look nice marzi so um, me and chloe did like this um rice and bean um this we did this rice and bean um we made like a, a massive pot of um rice with all the beans chickpeas etc garlic paprika um and we had it on its own yesterday with a little dollop of like greek yogurt which was so nice but i bought some pitters the other day to put it in so it kind of lasts longer um so that's good and i'm just taking down and catching up on love island I need to take these ones out are you sleepy today they helped me with my workout this morning which is really good actually it was a good way to start the day this batiste dry shampoo is so good i use it on my hair because i'm trying not to wash my hair um that often because it's fading really really quickly so dry shampoo is saving me at the moment so i've just got back from a walk with these tired little pups i just took them to the park there's like a park behind there which is a bit quieter because I wasn't really feeling up to facing Bassey Park. I don't know what it is today. I just kind of just want to like stay, stay at home by myself in my bed. Um, anyway, now I've got another Zoom event. This is a day of Zoom events. Um, this one is really exciting. It's with Kiss. Um, for the, oh my God. Look at this flipping goodie bag. So for their Falscara lashes, which I've seen but never actually tried before. So they're like ones that you stick underneath your lashes. Um, they've also got some biscuits, a little mojito. There's a little Kaz bank, so I think, I don't know if it's being hosted by Kaz. Um, and then there's a mirror under there as well to apply lashes. I don't know whether I'm gonna be doing my makeup. I might just take the tips on how to do it um, right now because I kind of just <laughs> I kind of just want to go to bed but maybe it'll get me hyped up who knows I'm gonna crack open this mojito how cute is this and then um oh my god these biscuits they, these are all gonna be gone by the end of the flipping event so I'm gonna go in with the second one literally like so and i'm working my way in yeah so i'm sat here eating my third chocolate mousse of the day <laughs> put whipped cream on it as well it's so good i'm just slightly concerned because this spot here that used to be a um what's it called blackhead has now turned into a kind of like almost like a cis spot so Dr. Sakai did give me some um, prescription cream. I'm going to pop that on it and hope that it helps it go down. But I might message him and see what he thinks. The rest of my face is looking fine. It's just this. Fingers crossed it's going to go down. I'm not going to panic. I know that you can still have breakouts. Um, but it does feel quite cysty. Good morning, everybody. From me and my spot um it turned into a white head which was quite good news and i was debating whether to squeeze it but you probably guessed i squeezed it so i put a bit of cream on it um anyway today is a beautiful day i feel so much better than yesterday yesterday i was literally just exhausted and today i've woken up and got a lot of stuff done so my plan for today is literally just work but it's friday today so i think me and chloe are gonna have a barbecue tonight on the roof i want to go on a nice walk today and actually go to battersea park um i had my morning on the rooftop again this morning which was so lovely just like chilling with the dogs i'm just editing the house tour i filmed before i left mine and honestly it's making me miss my old house so much well not making me miss just like i just forgot like how exactly how much stuff i had done to it um because i've watched my old house tour back like the empty house when i first moved in and i'm like wow like 
I always forget to congratulate myself on how far I've come, etc. But like the transformation with that house. It's funny, you don't see it when it's like a gradual process, but when you see the two together, it's like, oh my God. And I only live there for like a year and four months, maybe. And I did all those changes because I thought I was going to be in that house for like the next three years. It is just crazy how um, things can change. I just, I'm looking back at it. I'm like, I don't know if I want to go back to that house because I'm loving London life so much. There's just so much more to do. So who knows, maybe I will be renting that house out forever because I don't want to let it go. But yeah, I don't know, I'm just making myself some lunch. Um, same thing, pit up, wait, did that even, did that even start? Still figuring out how to use the appliances in, uh, in this flat. It's such a lovely weekend plan as well. But I am stressing out about my house stuff because there's stuff that needs to be done and my tenants literally move in in like two weeks yeah it's it's all a lot i just can't wait until august like first of all come first of august well the wi-fi still won't be sorted by then but come first of august i won't have to worry about any of this and i can just focus on enjoying this flat and not worrying about my other one hello everybody so i'm eating breakfast at 12 p.m um <laughs> just having some granola and banana i re-dyed my hair this morning because it had faded out quite a bit so i topped it up with these which i got sent recently the shrine drop it so i did the um lilac one and then i did the rose one for the back and i think they've matched the hair colors pretty well i probably will put a little bit more in next time because it's still quite pastely, but yeah, I need to do my hair. I'm trying to figure out what to wear because honestly, at the moment, I feel like I don't have any cute summery clothes. I just don't. I've either got like dressy or too cash. So, anyway, today I'm going out for brunch with my friend Umpo, who literally moved up to London yesterday. I'm literally so excited for her to be in London. She's in East. So it's still like an hour away, but we're gonna meet in the middle and go for a nice little brunch today. I'm debating whether to take the dogs out because um, it is midday and today it's supposed to, well, I haven't even checked the weather, but I think it's like 28, 29 degrees. I just don't know whether walking along the hot pavement is gonna be too much for them now. So I might take them out when I get back I don't know I am in my head with anxiety as well like I know Bassey Park on a Sunday is really busy and I just I don't know I'm just in one of those like wake up at 5 a.m. aren't able to sleep kind of anxious modes at the moment I've just got a lot like going on in my head and I just feel really self-conscious and I don't want people to look at me anyway I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you have enjoyed watching my week next week i'm going to be going to back, back to southampton for a few days because i've just been like thinking about my house way too much and i just need to be there to like get stuff done but if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up um and i will see you next week